Good morning, all. It's the Devious Monkey here on another glorious bagel Sunday. It is 69 degrees, giggity. And it's sunny, and there is a slight breeze. An overall pleasant morning. It wasn't too bad yesterday either, so can't complain. Now today, boys and girls, I don't know what the hell I'm gonna do. I mean, we're getting close to Halloween time, yay! And I know that they're gonna start doing the, uh, I don't know, like the pumpkin farmy type things here if they haven't started already. So I thought it'd be nice if we would just go hang out there, see what they've got, maybe get some fresh fruit or the remnants of vegetables that are gonna be left over and just go out and hang out. It's always fun to go there. I don't know if we're gonna do that or not today. Otherwise, I don't have anything planned. I know I walked around Pleasure House Point yesterday just with my point and shoot. I think I might go back today because it's so pleasant out and, and actually do some birding. Let's go get some bagels. Bagels gotten. And I opened it up this time and checked and they made it correctly because pretty much 98% of the time when I order this one and I add extra stuff to it, I get home and the extra stuff's not on there. So let's hear it. Okay, so that was interesting. I, I was just at a traffic light and a carload of uh, youngsters happened to see the camera, I'm assuming. And they were like, hey man, are you a YouTuber? And I was like, yeah. And they're like, oh man, what's your station? We'll follow you right now. So I don't know if they're actually gonna find me. When I say the devious monkey, sometimes they, you know, they try to type that in or they try to look it up and they can't see it because I spell it D-V-S instead of devious. But uh, eh, we'll see what happens. Anywho, I'm on my way to Pleasure House Point. I got a little taste of it yesterday, and although today it's a hell of a lot warmer out than it was yesterday, it's, well, it's 10 degrees warmer. It's 82 now. Yesterday it was about 73 when I was walking around there, and you can definitely feel the 10 degrees, obviously, but that's okay, because it's still pretty mild out, all things considered. It's not really humid, and there's a good breeze, so I felt like I've been sitting in my house all day today. It's 140. And I thought, well, I could just settle in and start doing laundry now and, and, you know, do some day job stuff and run reports and everything. And then I'm like, eh, nah, I need to get the hell out of the house for a little bit. So I'm going to go take a loop around Pleasure House Point and then probably swing back around and go to three ships. And then I'll go home and start into my day. All right, let's go see some birds. All right, kids. That was a lot of fun. Although, as predicted... There weren't a lot of birds out there today, not like there was yesterday when I didn't have my birding set up. Eh, <laughs> go figure. But that's all right. What do I always say? I'd rather go there and not get a single picture, but enjoy walking around than not being out at all. So mission accomplished. I'm a little bit reset now, and I'm going to head off to go to three ships now to get some bean. One of the many things that I like about going back here is the camaraderie that exists amongst photographers. And every time I go back there, sure enough, if I see somebody with a camera, we always stop and chit chat with each other, share if we saw birds somewhere and you know the like. So I did see a couple gentlemen and um, they had told me that there was a juvenile yellow crown night heron up, up ahead of me. And I said, well, there's one back this way you won't see it unless you are really looking for it. I almost missed it. They were like, oh, great. So they took off, and I went in the other direction. I didn't see anything after that. And I came back, and I passed him again on the way back. The other guy must have left. And he was like, hey, thank you for telling us about that. You know, we, we got a lot of shots of him um, hunting crab, and that was great. You know, and, and But that's what we do. You, know, you help your fellow photographers out especially when you know they're out there looking for birds and and sometimes they're not as easy to find as you as you think they would be so i love that this is overall what i'm talking about is that that photographers are a special bunch and i came across somebody who had posted a scenario and then other people had stepped in and said well here's here's what you might want to consider and all that kind of stuff and he said you know man he goes thank you so much you know for for sharing that with me and the guy's response was hey man that's what we do we look out for each other you know us photographers and you know we come here to places like this so that we maybe we can either get help or we can help somebody else that needs it no worries and that was 
got me right there, man. And that's what I love about, about this community. That's all I want to say. Go out and find your people and enjoy them. And don't be a douche. All right, I'm going to roll the windows down and have a nice leisurely drive going to three ships. And we'll wrap things up in a bit. I think I'm going to wind this up now. I kind of just had a sort of a lazy day. Uh, the most adventurous thing I did was go to Pleasure House Point. I saw some birds, but not very many. I didn't get very many good shots because there were there, there was literally one bird that was close enough for me to actually get any shots of. Everything else was pretty far away, and I just took the shots because they were there. I tried a lot of tracking shots of birds in the air, but they were way up and way far away, and I don't think those came out really all that great, so I'm not even going to bother to put them on here. But that's pretty much it. I have since stopped at Pallone's, which is a, it's like a, I don't know, a, a waterfront grill place that has really good chips and guacamole. In fact, a lot of their stuff is good. We haven't had anything that we didn't like. So I got us some tacos and some chips and guacamole for an early dinner, late lunch. And once I finished that, I came up here got my laundry going, and now I want to get this video done and do the day job shit that I need to do so that I'm not doing it tonight at 9 o'clock. So that's all you're going to get for today. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.